Oh, I think that's recording. Sorry, I'm, I'm on a different phone. I don't have to use it at all, to be honest with you. So, here's some IEC leads I've bought for a job. Um, converts that to the old figure of eight tape recorder type lead. There's four of those. I'll explain why in a minute. Those there, excuse the mess. And this is a Chinese cheap and cheerful projector off of eBay. And I bought that, um, came in this box, lovely box. Like so. Nothing in it at all, as you can see. Excuse the mess, I just dumped it in the sink, to be honest with you. I've got no space. And uh, it is bright. So, on the back, we have Auto DMX In and Out. I don't know if you can see that, but it's DMX In and Out on the back there. My light's not particularly good. No, you can see it now. So DMX in and out, there's a couple of four buttons there and a display there which I can just press for different various things. I think that's the speed. You can probably speed it up quite a lot. Let's go to see how fast it will go. Yep. That's the speed. Right, and then there's also there's so many control there's so many different buttons in this, I don't know which one's which actually. Well as you can see there's quite a few I'm trying to find the one that says auto and sound. I actually managed to turn it off now, which isn't exactly what I wanted to do, to be honest with you. So. Channel 5. It might be this one, actually. Right. Well, let's actually turn the LED off now, so... I have no idea what I've done. I've just pressed random buttons. There's no instruction manual at all. Um, this is what it looks like. It sort of looks a bit like a... Sort of a bit like a hairdryer, really. It's a bit of a weird-looking thing, isn't it? It's different. It's a projector, anyway. And it projects... Um, colours and gobos. It would do if I could get back to the bloody settings I want it to be on. Let's go down to that. Go down, go down. No, not that one either. Okay. Go up a... Let's see that one. Channel. Or set. Auto. Or sound. Sound. Right, okay, set it back now. I think one of them's the sensitivity actually, so we won't worry about that for a minute. So why have I bought this and what is its purpose? It is an LED disco type projector and its purpose is to be used, excuse the mess here. I can just go to the wall. It's extremely bright, look at that. That is very, very bright as you can see. And I don't know if I can get into a position where you can, right, there you go, I can tap it. There's some patterns on there as well, but they're not showing up that well on this uh, thing. I don't know if you can see, it's so bright you can't really see the pattern, but it is there. Yeah, I see it now, there. Pattern. Like so. And it will change to the sound or the DMX. It's not very easy to focus on that pattern, is it? Anyway, that's irrelevant, really, because that's not what I want it for. What I want it for is... Inside here is a metal gobo wheel. 
with individual little holders, little, um, little, little sort of round holders for gobos. So what we're going to do is take it all apart and um, at some point, I've actually got four of these now, and I am going to replace two of the gobos with some custom gobos I'm going to have made for maybe a wedding event or something like that, I'm not sure. Or we could even have our logo or something put onto it. And it's extremely bright. But the point is, why I'm showing you this is because these are only about 25 quid each. And the LED is about 30 watts. They say it's 40 watts, but I think it's about 30, but I'll have to check that. Um, I think the, ten, the other 10 watts is supposed to run the motors and the um, software and the PCB in there. So my idea is to do that and change that. I mean, that, that's all oh, that focuses as well. So you can change that to focus. So it's manual focus. So yeah, it's a very, very cheap one shot gobo projector. It has possibilities and it's DMX, so you can control it. So you could put in there some hearts gobos, maybe your logo and maybe something else and have it on DMX and then control it, say for a wedding on the dance floor. That's all the information I can put off the top. Let me try and focus it. Not going to focus, is it? Let's try a bit closer. Well, it doesn't actually it doesn't actually say much. To be fair, it's um, made in China. Not seen this made by any other companies at all. So it's obviously just a design that the Chinese have made for their own use or whatever. This is nice thick plastic. It's not. It doesn't feel cheap plastic. It feels quite thick. The brackets okay. Um, it's nice and strong for me. It's not a really thin one or anything. And you've got two side screws there and there, like so. And it's fan cooled as well. Anyway, the other reason I bought those adapters that are down there is because it comes with this sort of daft tape recorder lead, which is um, no good whatsoever if you're going to put it up on a gantry. So I bought a packet of these to stick in there and run back to normal IECs. So that's what those are for. And that is what is going on. So yeah, it's an experiment. They're extremely cheap. I think I've got four of them now. I think they work out about £25 each. So 100 quid, get you four of those. Four Gobo projectors, you can synchronise them and do various things. But a sort of a one shot sort of logo projector, well, I think that's pretty useful to be honest with you. And at that price, um, you get four for about a hundred quid, maybe just under if you do a deal. And if you went and bought a Gobo projector, like one of the American DJ ones or the um, Icon or something like that, you know, um, or the Equinox one. Um, they might have a few extra features, but uh, you're going to be paying nearly twice the price, well, a lot more money, more than twice the price. Um, so there you go. That's what 25 quid gets you from China. And uh, you can refocus it as well. It's quite warm. I mean, it's quite a lot of heat coming off that. I don't know why. You can feel the heat coming off that. That's interesting. Um, yeah. Okay. I just shared this really in case any of the other DJs or anyone was interested to know what these were or what they did. Uh, you can't really see much now, there's a few vent holes on the back. Display. There's a couple of screws on the back, you can't really see them on this. There's some screws on here and you can probably open it up and look at the control wheel which is metal because I can see that through the front. I don't know if I can show you really. Sort of balanced on top of my kettle, do you want to? Let me see if I can unscrew this. So, yeah, there's the uh, lens. 
quite hefty really for what it is. And you can't really see. Oh, you can see there. Yeah, you can see the GoWell wheel. There you go. That helps you out a little bit. So as you see, there's the GoWell wheel in there. And those are individual GoBos. And some open slots as well. And some colour gels. It's DMX controllable. And you can change. Let me just get that to go around to a different position. See like this one here. You can see at the bottom there. Those there. You can change those for another gobo by opening the unit up. So you could put your logo in one, um, as I say, the hearts or something else. They don't rotate, they are fixed. Uh, for this price, what do you expect? But wow, how cheap is that and how useful that can that be? And the throw on it is pretty good to be honest with you. We tried it the other week and it went right across the room. And we're still pin sharp on the on the wall. So okay. I don't suppose there's any other videos in this really. I haven't taken it apart yet, and I will open the case and um, measure the gobo so I can work out what size I need to get made. Um, the ones that come with it are pretty boring to be honest with you. I think this is stars, um, five colours, and then you have flower, you can see that. And I think the other one is, I can't remember what the other one is now, Sunflower, I think. There's only three gobos on there at the moment. But you could fill the whole wheel with gobos and you could just use it all um, as a gobo projector and control it off a DMX desk. It's cheap. It is what it is. It could be useful to someone. Practice and enjoy. Cheers.